Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Every Day I'm Mothering. I'm so excited to share our family's trip to the Kennedy Space Center. We stopped here on our way to our cruise out of Miami um, back at the end of February. And we had such a fun time. My girls absolutely love anything space related, so we wanted to make sure that we stopped here. And I wanted to share some tips to help your trip go as smoothly as it can once they do open back up. So for us, we didn't get to the Space Center until about one o'clock, just based on traveling. And I really wish we'd been able to get there when they first opened because we did run out of time when we weren't able to do all the things there. So do plan on a full day and do your research ahead of time, lay out the things that you wanna hit. We really didn't do that, which is unusual for me. And so we were, you know, kind of trying to plan what we were doing and figuring everything out on the go. My tip for you is to go ahead when you first get there and take the bus ride and go over to the Apollo Saturn Center. So there are two different locations and this is different than the long bus tour. This is just a 15 minute bus ride, but you'll wanna go ahead and do that first so that it's out of the way and you don't have to worry about missing buses or catching buses anymore. You do know that they don't let you take a stroller on the bus, which we weren't aware of that. And we had a runner with our baby so you don't want to bring a sling or something just be aware that you will have that issue if you have a baby of not being able to take a stroller on the bus then when you come back you can go ahead and hit the atlantis area and that was our kids favorite spot and they had things that we didn't get to do like the launch experience because they shut down a little bit early before the actual center shut down so i would go there second and spend the majority of your time there and then you can hit all the other little areas without having such a time crunch for those big events to get done. Can you find them?
Lena, are you excited? I need to be in front seat. One for being the biggest rocket ever launched, the other for being the most powerful rocket ever launched. And it's held both of those world records for decades. Also in that building is the Kitty Hawk, a space capsule that took three men to the moon and brought them home again during Apollo 14. And then my favorite thing there is halfway down the left side of the building on the left, there's a sliver of actual moon rock that you can reach under the glass to rub for good luck. So don't miss that either, because how often do you get to touch the moon? All of the buses come back here, so just get on whatever bus is next in line. Again, another 15 minute ride to get back that will drop you off in front of the Space Shuttle Atlantis exhibit, which is over your left shoulder. White rocket, that's a Mercury Redstone. And it was a rocket just like that that launched America's first astronaut into space, Alan Shepard on May 5th, 1961. That little rocket of his was able to take him inside that black bill-shaped capsule up 116 miles high to touch into space, then arching over, coming down, and splashing down in the water near the Bahamas, which is about 300 miles away. That was only a 15 and a half minute ride for the astronaut. So basically the time it will take us to drive out to the Saturn V Center, Alan Shepard would be splashing down in the water. How awesome is that? corner of the bus at the vehicle assembly building, that big NASA emblem on the right side, we affectionately call the NASA meatball. And then the U.S. flag painted on the other side, believe it or not, is the dimensions of a 21-story building. Each one of those white stars is six feet or 1.8 meters point to point. Each of those red or white stripes wide enough for this bus to drive down. Now on this side of the building closest to us, those two gray structures going up to the roof, doors opening into two of the high bays. There's another two on the opposite side of the building. And if you were to have all of those louvered doors open for a high bay, that's a 456 foot opening that you could fit the Statue of Liberty through and she'd only take up about two thirds of the doorway. Behind it and to the left, there's that gray platform on pedestals. That's an example of what a mobile launch platform looks like. I love it. All right. Look at that shit. Let's walk on down. Let's walk on down.
you think about that, Adeline? That's creepy. Traveling at 17,500 miles. Step at a time. Go look at the Mars rover. Uh, that's pretty cool, huh? Oh, great. Look at that thing. give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel so you'll be notified about our day one of our Royal Caribbean cruise that'll be posting soon. Bye everyone!